Hi, this is Joseph Anthony of TappingWithMusic.com. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today we're going to do a little EFT tapping session on developing self-confidence. You know, sometimes we hear the words self-conscious. So-and-so is self-conscious. And it's often viewed as a negative or a weakness of some kind or perhaps a liability of some kind. And the way I look at that that phrase, self-conscious, is, is in a positive way. The more self-conscious I am, the more I have developed self-consciousness, the more I know about myself, the better. Sure, we can, we can become you know, hyper-focused on ourselves and, and in ways that are somewhat unhealthy. Of course, we could do that. But the way I look at self-consciousness as it relates to self-confidence is that the more I know about me, the more I know why I do what I do, the more I love what I do, the more I love myself, the more I know my own truth, live by those principles, the more confident I will carry myself in the world, the more confident I will not only feel but just be. Confidence means to trust. And so the more I know about myself, the more I can trust that whatever situation arises, I may need help, I may need a mentor, uh, encouragement, support, all of that. It's all good. But when whatever arises, I will know myself enough to know that I'll get through that. Not saying it won't be painful and all that other stuff. But I'll be able to do it based on how I live, based on how I carry myself in the world. Not only physically, like literally how I walk, how I choose to present myself, and even what I wear. Um, all that stuff plays, plays a part in, in my self-confidence. And so, things that may be in the way of self-knowledge or uh, of, of living my truth could be shame, could be fear, um, resentments, anything in the past or present that, that's in the way of me accurately knowing who I am, of loving the person I see in the mirror. So this tapping session is all about that. Moving from a place of being either unwilling or unable to see the truth about ourselves embracing the truth about ourselves, celebrating the truth about ourselves, and, and really living in such a way where we embody confidence and joy. So, if you'd like to tap along with me, you are accepting full responsibility for doing so. Let's get started. Even though, even though there's a part of me that does not feel good about who I am, for whatever the reason, I choose in this moment to love and accept myself. Even though there's a part of me that has things in the way, perhaps things I'm ashamed of, things I've done things I'm doing, and these are in the way of accepting the truth about myself. I choose to love and accept myself right here and right now. Even though there are things in my life, perhaps shame, perhaps resentment, fear, that seem to be in the way of me fully embracing who I am. I choose to love and accept myself right here and right now. Even though perhaps I'm afraid. Afraid of success perhaps, afraid of failure. Perhaps, of, perhaps I'm afraid of what other people will say or think. I love and accept myself right here and right now. 
the truth is, I'm doing pretty good. The truth is, I am taking steps to learn about myself. And I choose in this moment to release any blocks of shame or fear that may be in the way. If I'm doing something I'm ashamed of, I choose to channel the power to stop doing that. To do things instead that edify me and others. Things I can be proud of. Productive things. Things that I love. Creative things. If I have thought processes that run through my head about not being good enough, I'm going to transform those thought processes into positive things. To speak to myself the way I would a dear friend. Encourage myself the way I know I would a dear friend. I choose in this moment to get to know myself. The hows and the whys I operate. On without all that condemning judgment. I need a little judgment, discernment, to know what I want to keep doing and discontinue doing, and that's okay. I don't need to condemn myself. Self-confidence doesn't, doesn't mean perfectionism. Self-confidence, trusting myself, Self-confidence is about trust. So I choose in this moment to develop trust in myself. To acknowledge where I shine. To celebrate my success. And if there's anything I need to change, if there's anything I need to do to make amends for anything I've done, I choose in this moment to take steps towards doing that. I choose to look the world in the eye, to lift my gaze from my feet and the ground, to meet the world, to breathe and pause before I speak, to speak clearly and slowly, for my voice carries my truth. I'm open to new ideas and new information. Once I settle on some spiritual beliefs or principles of how to guide my life, once I've settled on my truth, my dreams, the truth needs no defense. So I needn't fight. I needn't argue, defend myself. I choose in this moment to love who I am, to love what I do, to love my dreams. I choose in this moment to be true to myself and my dreams. Ah, and if there's outward things I want to work on, my appearance, the way I dress, the way I stand, the way I walk, I'll take little or big steps to do so. I'll do things that make me feel good about me. If I need to change what I eat, I'll do that. How I dress, how I walk. I needn't defend or justify who I am or why I do what I do. I needn't fear the opinions of others and what other people may think or say about what I do or do not do. I am secure in me. I trust myself. I trust in my dreams and visions. And any failures, any setbacks, I choose to look at them all as new opportunities to learn and help others, to refine and, and perhaps retune my plans. It isn't about perfectionism. 
It's about making mistakes and learning from them. People who make mistakes are people that are out there doing something. I choose to go do something. Things I love. Things I can be proud of. And little by little, or perhaps in one fell, fell swoop, whatever the case may be, I'm going to cease doing those things that make me feel unproductive, or that are unproductive, or that make me feel ashamed or guilty. I'm going to choose to edify myself the way I would a friend. And little by little, more and more, I'm going to befriend the person I see in the mirror. Trust that person. Mean what I say. And again, we're not talking perfectionism. Or rigidness. We're talking about a smooth flexibility in who I am. How I speak. What I say. I choose to love myself, to build myself up, to look for ways to help others, to compliment others, to accept other people's compliments with grace, my self-knowledge is the key, and I choose to become more and more conscious of myself. I have to celebrate and be grateful for who I am. If there's things I need to change, I'll do it. If I need to ask for help and support, I'll do it. I will take whatever steps necessary to continue to improve and move towards my dreams. I love and accept myself right here and right now. So when I say continue to improve, it doesn't mean I'm bad or awful. It means I want to be better in my life. There's things to work on, and that's all good. I can make it fun. I can celebrate the work as, as play as joy with gratitude in my heart. I choose to know myself, to trust myself, and to love myself, and do anything I need to do to keep that growing. Whether it's physical things with my appearance, my diet, how I speak, mental discipline, thinking positive things about myself, praising myself, patting myself on the back. It's all good. And I choose to give those things to others too. I know it feels good to give and to receive. So I give them to others, I receive them from others, and I give and receive them from myself, right here and right now. My self-confidence grows and grows, and I can do anything I want to do. I can achieve my dreams and goals. I am a powerful person, filled with self-knowledge, filled with the truth about myself. I am capable, I am conscious of what I do and why, and I love myself, and I love those dreams I'm after, and I'm able to play, and I will succeed in all of my endeavors. I am confident, I am worthy. And I choose to work through any fears that may come up, to use them, to transform them into courage, to take steps that are firm, to 
to walk and speak clearly. Because I'm doing great. And I choose to love and accept myself. And to allow my self-confidence to grow and blossom. Right here. Right now. So, I hope you found that helpful and encouraging. If you need any other support or anything along the way about self-confidence or any other issues, please go to my website, tappingwithmusic.com, and I'd be happy to help in any way I can. It's Joseph Anthony saying thank you so much for watching. You're awesome. Take care.